I'm Kristen Duncan. I'm a marriage and family therapist associate, a member here at Christ Church, and got to participate and help lead the retreat last year. Uh, I'll also be helping lead this year and be participating with my husband as well. I'm super excited that Christ Church has decided to bring back a marriage retreat again this year. Uh, the goal um, is for couples to have a chance to come together and to reconnect. Um, it's not going to be a weekend full of learning and PowerPoints and lectures. It's going to be a weekend of celebration, of reconnecting with your spouse through different activities, um, intentional time with other couples, intentional time with just your spouse. Um, so it's really just going to be a time for you to carve out time together, away from kids, away from jobs, from other stresses of life, and really reconnect with your spouse. So last year's retreat, I really liked the fact that it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot of fun to be with um, other couples, and kind of share stories about how we met and all the crazy hijinks that we had gotten into over the years together. And it's really interesting and fun to hear how people met and how their dating went and the wedding and all the years since. So a lot of laughs, a lot of good times. Yeah, I really enjoyed the time span of the retreat. Um, it was just Friday evening, Saturday morning. So it felt like a long time, but we still had the whole weekend or a lot of the weekend left to spend with family. Um, so it was just a really meaningful, short period of time. The theme of this year's retreat is connection. We know that God created us for connection and especially with our spouse. But with life being so busy, a lot of times connecting with our spouse gets put on the back burner. Um, we see couples who come into therapy, usually not because of big things like infidelity, but because they're disconnected. And a lot of times they don't know how they got there. Um, so our goal this weekend for reconnection and connection is that you carve out that time and you check in with your, with your spouse and with your marriage and say, what's going well? How are we connecting well? Where are some areas that we need to reconnect more? Um, and let's address those and let's carve out this weekend and connect with each other and carry on what we've experienced this weekend um, into the future. For me, it was great to just kind of pause. And as you said, it wasn't a long pause. It was, you know, it was a short, meaningful pause just to kind of remove distractions and be able to reflect on our marriage and kind of focus on it and just almost like reset in a way um, and kind of remember what makes our marriage special and what makes you so special to me. And that's, I really enjoyed that part too, that um, there was this space to think about like why we fell in love in the first place and um, then be able to share a little bit of that with each other. So that was the part that wasn't as light. It was a little bit deeper. Um, and we don't get that opportunity very much. Like that's not something we would normally do just on a normal day. And instead we had a chance to sit face to face and just kind of rekindle what we love about each other and express it to each other. You might be thinking, why not just go away for a weekend or go on some date nights? And those are wonderful things to do, but usually our focus is not on reconnection at that time and really looking at our relationship. We go and we have fun and we enjoy ourselves and, and of course that's great, um, but this weekend is gonna be different. We're gonna ask some questions of ourselves, of our spouse, of our marriage, check in with ourselves and, and really look at what it is that we're doing well. What is it that we might need to tweak a little bit um, so that going forward we can reconnect and stay connected and for me like a regular getaway or a date night we're just having fun together and we're not really talking about you know our marriage usually um, you know, we're talking about the food we're eating or the, the movie we saw um, so it's just a little bit more intentional and a little bit deeper um, for our relationship than a typical date night or I mean, I think even, you know, in a normal date night, like you might end that and say, okay, that was really fun and we had a fun experience together, but we have looked back on 
that short period of time, it was less than 24 hours, um, many times since, and been like, oh, that was that was pretty special and helped us, like you said earlier, really reset. Like we had a chance to kind of reset, refocus, and in the busyness of life, had a chance to just focus on our marriage and not all the other roles that, that we play. I invite you and your spouse to make the time to come and be with other like-minded couples and invest in your relationship. Be supported by other couples who have the same values as you and make time to reconnect with your spouse.